you know, a propeller is a very essential part of the boat. Obviously, if I don't have one on the back of the boat, I'm not going to be going any place. This one's well past its sell-by date. It's got bits missing, there's bends in it, there's chunks missing out of it. It's going to use more fuel, and I'm not going to get full performance out of the boat. So I'm going to replace this, and I'm going to walk you through the steps necessary to do that. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got a lock washer in here, and we need to bend the tabs up. So we get a screwdriver in there, we just bend those up and then we get the right size socket. Now obviously if I put a socket on here and I turn this, I could be doing this all day and I'm never gonna be able to undo anything. So we get a block of wood and we can just jam that in there and we can unscrew. Once you've loosened it off a bit, you can take the wood out and just hold it with your hand. So there we go, we'll take the lock washer off and the nut and then the prop should just slide right off. And I just want to check to make sure there's no debris or, or anything, any obstruction in here because this is where the exhaust and the cooling water comes out. We need to be particularly careful that there's no monofilament fishing line because that does terrible damage to bearings. I'm not seeing anything in there, so that's really good. The splines look good. So I'm just going to go ahead now and slide the new prop on. I made sure that I got exactly the same size as the one that came off. On this propeller, it says here 25 by 21. So that's the diameter and the pitch. And obviously it's a right-handed propeller because when it's on here, the engine is rotating in a clockwise direction. First things first is to slide on the packing washer and then we slide this on. Make sure that's seated, it's free to rotate. That was the old lock washer this is a new one, it's a slightly different design, but you don't need to worry about that. We just put that on there over the tags there, screw on the nut, and then we go back to our block of wood method. It just needs to be snug. So we'll do it to nice and snug, that'll do. You'll see that I've tightened it until the flat is level with the tag. And just bend those up either side. And I can tap that actually with a hammer a little bit. Check it again, make sure it's free to rotate, and we're all good to go. So we should be getting nice full power, but using less fuel now. Last thing we've got to do is just take the boat for a spin, check it out, make sure everything's good. Prop cost me about 120 bucks. If I'd got a shop to install that, they would have put a markup on the prop and they would have charged me money to install it. Probably would have been closer to $200. So I saved myself a ton of money, took me five minutes, and I've learned something about my boat. It's easy, anybody can do it, so go ahead, give it a go.